Okay, so if you do not know how to simplify this expression, well, you need to review one of the most critical skills in mathematics, especially algebra. So this is something that you definitely must know. All right, so what we want to do here is simplify this expression. In other words, we got all of this, but uh, we can write this expression, uh, another version of it, in a very simple way. Okay, so let's take a look at the problem. We have 2ax minus 6xb over 3ay minus 9by. All right, now, if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to tell you what this critical skill is and how we uh, need to use it to simplify this expression. All right, so the correct answer here is the following. It is 2x over 3y. Now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus. You're like, oh, Mr. YouTube Math, man, I didn't get this right. I'm missing this critical algebra skill. What is it? Well, a lot of students actually struggle with this skill, and I'll tell you what it is right now. It's factoring, right? you got to know how to factor to be successful in algebra. But uh, let's see exactly how to simplify this expression right now. And let's kind of get into the problem. And, uh, of course, you can see I'm talking about what the key skill is to do this problem. But before we go any further, what type of uh, expression is this in algebra? Okay, well, this is what we call a rational expression, right? Anytime you hear the word rational in algebra or, myth, or mathematics, excuse me, you want to be thinking fractions, right? So things like two-thirds, this is a rational number. So we wouldn't uh, technically call this a fraction. It wouldn't be so wrong to say, oh, this is a fraction. Really, this is a rational expression, okay? That's a fraction that has variables in it. So anyways, you need to be um, you know, pretty familiar with all this terminology as it is used in your respective math courses or if you're studying algebra. You know, if you're, your teacher saying, hey, we need to uh, learn about rational expressions, rational equations, you need to understand what they are. Okay, so how do we simplify any rational expression or fraction? Well, let's just use a real uh, easy example, and I'll get to this here, and we'll talk about uh, factoring, right? So the key skill is factoring, and it's the same thing as if we were doing this problem right here, 5 over 10. Now, we know we can reduce this fraction to one half. So is, it, uh, is factoring the key skill here as well? Absolutely, right? So here we can write this as 5 over 10. If I factor 10, this is 5 times 2, right? And, of course, 1 is always a factor. So we can write this as 5 times 1. So what we want to do is completely factor the numerator and denominator and then cross-cancel any like factors. And, of course, we're left with one half. So it's the same idea here. And I can tell you right now, if you are taking any sort of algebra course, you absolutely must be, you know, excellent at factoring. Okay, this is a, a skill that a lot of students have a tough time with. So if you need help with factoring, I do have additional videos on my YouTube channel on factoring, but I would strongly suggest you check out like one of my uh, courses like Algebra 1 or Algebra 2. Okay, so that's what we want to do here. You, uh, you want to factor the numerator and factor the denominator of this, uh, fract of this rational expression. And let's see what you come up with. So that is kind of like a little bit of a hint if you didn't know how to start this problem. Go ahead and test your factoring abilities right now, but let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. Okay, so how do we factor this stuff? Well, you need to uh, recognize that here we have a greatest common factor. Okay, so in other words, we can factor out a 2x. Okay, now if you look like, okay, well, what's common? What's a common factor? Well, 2 and x, and then here I have an x right here, and then 6 is the same thing as 2 times 3. So in terms of common factors, 2, okay, they have a 2 in common, and an x in common. So the GCF here is 2x, and then down here in uh, the denominator, the GCF is uh, a 3y. Now, this confuses you, then that's definitely a flag for you to 
uh, work on your factoring skills. That would be like an algebra 911 emergency. Okay. So if you're struggling with factoring, get that taken care of because everything will go much, much smoother. A matter of fact, I'll go as far as saying if you cannot factor uh, in algebra, okay, you will not be able to pass algebra. Factoring is critically um is probably one of the most critical skills in algebra and it's used in all kind of like all your different chapters and stuff anyways enough on factoring before we continue with the video please take a quick second to help me out so what i need you to do is to hit that subscribe button this really does help my content reach as many people as possible on youtube and if you're going to do that make sure to hit that bell notification as well so you know when my latest videos are posted. All right, so let's go ahead and get back to the video. So the GCF, again, down here in the denominator is 3y. You can kind of see they have a 3 and a y. The 9 has a 3, and we have a y right here. All right, so we're going to factor out the GCF. So the numerator is going to be, we've got to erase all this, uh, 2x, that's our GCF. Remember, when you're factoring out the GCF, it's always going to be in the form of the GCF times whatever's left. Okay, so in, if you're confused, just take that GCF and multiply back in and see if you get back to the original uh, problem, right? So here, 2x, if you're like, okay, that's the greatest common factor. If I multiply that back in, 2x times a, do I get back to this? Yes, I do, right? So this is 2ax or 2xa. It doesn't make a difference. This is equivalent. And then this 2x times this negative 3b is 2 times 3. That's uh, negative 6. Uh, and then x times b, xb right there. So you can see it is the same. So if you're not quite sure about your factoring, you can always multiply back in and, um, of course, check your work, right? Okay, so here we have 3y as our GCF. Again, I can multiply back in. 3y times, uh, 3y times a is 3ay. And then 3y times negative 3b gives me a negative 9by. Uh, Okay, so here, this factoring is good. We kind of double checked it. So now we factored things out. So of course, we could see we have a light factor. So what do we do? Well, this is as simple as just cross canceling these factors. Remember, this is all multiplication right here. This is two times X times this factor. Okay, don't confuse this. Uh, one of the most common problems that students uh, make is let's say I have two times x over x, okay? Here, these are common factors. I can cross cancel, right? No problem there. What if I had two plus x over x? Now, this is not, uh, uh, here, we're, th these are not factors. This is a sum, but it's so tempting to just want to cross cancel this x, and this is absolutely incorrect. So be careful with that. It's a very, very common mistake uh, in mathematics and algebra, okay? But here again, we're dealing with uh, all factors. It's all one big product. So we can simply just cross cancel these things. And what's left, we got this lovely 2x over 3y, which of course is our answer. Okay, so again, we're talking about basic algebra skills. But, you know, if you're struggling with anything, you know, of course, it's not going to be so basic. But the key skill, okay, um, not only for this problem, but in so many things that you're going to face in algebra is factoring. Okay, you got to get that down. So again, if you need help with it, I do have additional videos on uh, factoring on my YouTube channel. Of course, uh, a lot more videos like this as well. But uh, if you need like a real, like a real full course of instruction, and that's really the kind of the way to go, right? If you don't want to kind of learn things a little bit here, a little bit there, because you never end up really, you know, fully getting the comprehensive picture or, uh, to develop those skills. So again, check out like my Algebra 1 course so you can really get factoring down once and for all. But anyways, if this little video helped you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.